Let's first create a simple DVD menu in Photoshop. When ready, we'll save and switch to Encore. Create a new Encore project and import the PSD file as a menu. Then turn the text into buttons. The preview of the automatically created button subpicture highlights doesn't look that great. Let's make custom highlights by selecting our menu and choosing Edit, Edit Menu in Photoshop. Photoshop opens the menu file. Each button we made in Encore is now inside its own folder. We can take control of the sub-picture highlights by creating a new layer inside the button folder and renaming that layer, begin parenthesis, equals 1, close parenthesis. This name will tell Encore that this layer represents the button sub-picture. Let's make a similar layer inside each button folder. Now we can paint in the sub-pictures by using any paint tools in Photoshop. I recommend to keep it simple, though, as the DVD specification doesn't support anti-aliased or feathered graphics properly. Finally we save and head back to Encore. Preview again, and we can see the updated version of the button highlights. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on 1MinuteVideoTutorials.com.